Okay, I'm going to try to keep this one quick. Um, now, we've set up our character with an awesome action. He goes through and he raises his gun up and loads it and shablam, he goes and shoots it off. Um, so now I need to get that into... another scene and so here's that bullet and now what I did was first off I added it to this group so that now I can just append the group and I also I parented it to the object to the armature but as an object not as a bone not with weighting or anything like that but as an object by doing that it just keeps its relationship uh, to this um, this armature uh, set, but I'm not going to lose any um, I'm not going to lose any of the uh, the action associated with that bullet. Okay, so I've I've done that just to prepare it so that I can import it into a more complex scene file. So I'm going to save that. I am going to open up my scene file. might take a while because I'm actually rendering as we talk. This is actually probably not the smartest way to go. Um, just checking out my input rate. Eight frames per second. Okay. I'm going to save this as a different name because I was using it for a different scene. I'll save it as that. Which means I'm overwriting another scene. Alright, and so I know that my my my, uh, my bad boy, he was on this layer. So file, I'm going to append the bad boy, so that would be in the models, no, no, I moved this, uh, it's now called that, group, bad boy midtime, so now he should, yep, there he is, alright, now, notice the bullets there too, great, that's exactly what we wanted, alright, now we just need to, move our little character and scale him to the size that is appropriate and notice how when I scale it theoretically everything should scale right along with it that's what's so nice about object parenting um, now he's big but he's not that big just trying to get his relationship in comparison to that guy like his size something like that see I wanted him to be pretty darn huge and imposing okay all right, now I can go to the top. Notice how I had their feet all set up. I can show the actual rest of the scene. And I can move him into the position that I have him intended to be in, which will be somewhere over here. And remember, his legs really aren't going to be seen much. I can rotate it to... how I want now I'm thinking through because I've storyboarded this whole scene out like what happens throughout the the um throughout this sequence you know and the two characters are going to be moving left right up down all over this rooftop uh rooftop just so you know I'm looking at a rooftop okay so that's the actual scene file that this is going in um, anyway, well, I'm not going to waste your time with that. Basically, I've just showed you how you can take your character with his pose. Um, and you can see that he's still got all that stuff. Okay.
Now everything is identical to the way we had it before. Now the only thing is uh, you may have to tweak the cameras. You can actually go back into that pose, that other file that had this character in there and you can actually import the cameras right into this file and the actions should come with them. But personally I would just set up the camera action again in all honesty. Uh, just the personal preference. And actually if you want to see um, I think on my Flickr account, which I'll have to make a link to that somewhere on my YouTube channel, I've actually got some test renders from this little sequence that we've got going on. Um, any other news? I put up a proxy uh, version of this character onto LensWap. It's not obviously this, this uh, uh, you know, detailed character, but it's got his basic shape and the exact same armature system. And so actually, eventually, whatever actions you make with that armature system, once I do upload this actual character, you'll be able to take those actions and link them straight to the armature that will go with this guy, and you won't have to do any reposing and stuff. And I can show you how to do that later. All right, you guys all take care. Like me, love me, and I'll like you and love you. <laughs> Tell me how, how awesome this stuff is, you know, stroke my ego. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.